So after a long time, Pixel Plus UI based on Android 13 is finally here. We have hands on with the first look, how the things are going on, how's the first impressions, which are the new features added and everything in this video I'm going to talk about. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. The first one is of course the about, about version or about phone. You can see the UI is same like Android 11 or maybe Android 12 style. The version is 5.0 and android version is android 13 this is super good i think so a lot of customers based on android 13 already there and this came a little bit late but late is still better if you have almost everything available which you need for example the default launcher as expectedly is pixel launcher which is of course kind of really good no issues here you have same kind of options it's not the developer version it's the normal edition so the default themed icons are just same if I move on to the quick settings panel, as expectedly, we don't have the dark quick settings background. We have the light quick settings background. The new volume player, the new media player is also there. So that's also quite good. Other than those things are basically same. One app is active or it's classic to the Android 13 features already here. So that's good. Other than else, we have the separate Wi-Fi and mobile data tiles options available. Scan QR code option is also there and you can use any third party app styles if all those available so things are quite good i think so the first impressions are super good from my personal opinion i have used pixel plus ui based on android 11 based on android 12 and now based on android 13. this room is still quite good and must use for example if i check out the safety status which also matters a lot if you want to use this custom room without rooting your device you can you'll be able to use banking apps on a device without any issues so that is also one of the positive things which you need to think about we also have the google photos unlimited backup so which means if you always use google photos on a device you don't need to spoof anymore things are quite good you can see the google photos has unlimited photos and videos backup at no charge also with the original quality so that's also quite good this is about all these things which we have here if we move on to the settings ui you can see the settings ui is also quite good you can see the hello option which is which was introduced with pixel plus ui version 4.7 or 4.8 maybe it is also there now we have the same new version available we have this hello option available and the pixelizer also have the customizations which i will talk about in this video gestures as expectedly swipe to screenshot which is quite good playback control it's also nice and other than else almost same kind of options unfortunately that uh, it does not have the ime option available which means the space below keyboard will not be hidden so from my personal opinion this is the feature which i was looking for and unfortunately it's not there but yes it's not a big deal if we move on to the security options we have pin lock fingerprint lock etc etc available there but unfortunately no face unlock but yes this is still okay as a lot of customers are still not having the face lock so that's fine but app lock might be considerable in the next update but for now it's not there and yes this is what you already know other than else what we have is about the customizations welcome to pixelizer it's introduced at least i mean with android 11 to android 12 when they updated the first builds were not including the pixelizer but now at the default stable one we have these options available these actually looks quite good for example buttons gestures lock screen i mean most of the features are just same we don't have any major changes things are basically same here for example what we have is lock screen have the lock screen charging info double tap to sleep on dock screen double tap to sleep on status bar which was expected is already there we have the options 82 miscellaneous like advanced restart and window secure flag is a very good thing which is available icon manager one thing is missing from here is the volti and wo wi-fi icons at least those should be present but yes it's still okay so no worries here too notifications have the in-call vibration options which are quite useful quite necessary these are already present we have the option to do theming and in theming we does not have the icon pack or other than else fonts customizations unfortunately but the thing is we have the options themes related to dark mode like the repainter themes and these themes now available with some other custom rooms also if i'm not wrong spark west also includes these themes but these are good status bar is you already know and other than else things are basically same these were things i just want to let you know thanks for watching link is in the description goodbye